Praise the Lord. It's your girl, Pastor Prophetess Teresa Moon, her apostolic voice. I'm coming to you today just to put in your spirit when God is silent doesn't mean he's not speaking. God is speaking even when you don't hear him. A lot of times when we don't hear God is when he's saying, wait. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today. We thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We thank you because you're all knowing. We thank you because you kept us when we didn't know how to keep ourselves. We thank you because you're answering prayers while we sleep in slumber. And we seek your face. We seek your voice. God, even when we can't hear you, we know that you are very present with us. I thank you, God, that you allow me to wake up to do this podcast, to even know that this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Sometimes the answers we look for are not what we want, but God, I thank you that you are the one that answers all prayers. So now let thy kingdom come, let thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Reveal all wickedness and evil doings. God, tear, oh my God, we sent out an enemy, uh, an attack against the enemy right now. We are sick and tired as believers that the enemy think that he have leverage on a believer. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And God, in this season that we're in, because we are warring in the heavenlies, we take back everything the enemy stole from us. We take it back. And we're not asking the enemy to give it back. We take it back in the name of Jesus. Now, God, we bind up every Hindu spirit, every diabolical spirit that come up against our children's children, even our families, our marriages, relationships, kinship, friendship. We take authority now in the near ah, oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, we forever be careful to thank you for the blood you shed at Calvary. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank God. When God is silent, doesn't mean he don't hear us. So I want you to get that in your spirit right now. One thing the Bible says in Romans 10 and 17, 17 so faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ or the word of God. We know that we have to operate in faith in order to get things done. Because without faith, it is even impossible to please God. He that cometh to God must first believe that he is a reward of him that diligently seek him. If you diligently seek God and stop trying to get things fast, don't try to get things quick. When it's something God is telling you to do, Quick is not the answer, amen. You can't even bake a cake quick, amen. A cake tastes terrible when you make it fast. But in John 10 and 27, the Bible says, My sheep hear my voice and another they will not follow. So sometimes God, you know, he'll veer us this way, that way. And we want something so bad. And God is saying no, but we thinking like just because we're in good standings with God and we pay our tithes and we are faithful, we're not fornicating and we're not lying and we're not so-called stealing. And, you know, we can name those big sins, but there is something God is saying. God may be telling you that's not it. He might be telling you danger, danger. Because a, parent, a good parent silently talks to his child and we don't hear him. You know, a lot of times your parents say, don't do that. And you be like, hmm, I don't know who they think I am. Next thing you know, you go and do it and you go, I should have listened to my parents. Then when they get to hollering, that's when you listen. Am I right? So when it's quiet, please pay attention. Amen. Pay attention when God is quiet. It is the spirit who gives us life. 
the flesh is just to help us. Am I right about it? The words. And I have uh, spoken on you, to you rather, is spirit in life. That's in John 6 and 63. The words I've spoken, he said, is spirit and life. Amen. So we want to get the truth and the truth comes from God. Amen. And one thing for sure, if you're looking for God to move into, if you want to get the word, you got to have confidence in God. You got to believe that God is the one going to answer you. It's okay to ask your friends and those that's in authority, but there's nothing like the compass that God has. The Bible says, and this is the confidence that we have toward him. That we ask anything according to his will, he hear us. That's 1 John 5, 14. This is my confidence that we have in God. That if we ask anything according to his will, is that the will of God? You have to wonder, is that the will of God when he's silent? Uh-huh, because sometimes God is silent. It ain't that he's not trying to ignore you, but God, be, he be quiet for a reason. Because he said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Am I right? Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says today, if you hear his voice, heart not your heart. Don't get mad. Don't get angry. Just be thankful that God is not leading you down a path. That could destroy you. A lot of paths we take could either build us up or tear us down. It could be big and it could be nice, but it may not be God. Wait on God if it's in a tent with two chairs. Wait on God if you're in a house that's not that big, but it's yours. Wait on God if the job is paying enough to pay the bills and get till God give you another one. Wait on God if you don't have a mate and you content till God give you one. Wait on God if he brought you through and brought you out of an abusive relationship. Don't make another one. Just wait on it. If God saw you through bereavement, stay there. And thank him that he's a keeper of your soul. Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says today, if you hear his voice, hearken not your heart. God wants us to make sure we are listening at all times. He will supply all of our needs. Amen. One thing I found out, God is a miracle worker. Hallelujah. There's a scripture I'm going to read. Ezekiel 43 and 2. And behold, the glory of God of Israel was coming from the east, and the sound of his coming was like the sound of many waters, and the earth shone with his glory. See, God, he make you know he's there. He'll let you know. He's coming. He'll let you know I'm present. He ain't always quiet. He will let you know. I'm sure even showing Moses the burning bush had to blow his mind. Because God will make himself known to every one of us in his own way. But the thing is, our prayer should be, let thy kingdom come. Let thine will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Not my will, but your will, God, be done. That's right. We want our will to be done over God's will. And then when we get in a mess, we want to holler at God. And say, God, why you didn't? Don't put nothing on God. Don't charge God foolishly. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That is what we want. All right? We want to start out with God, and we want to finish with God. 
Amen. And the word became flesh and dwelt among men. Amen. There's another scripture before I say what I want to finish. Jeremiah 6 and 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, he said, this is what I like. Their ears are uncircumcised. Hallelujah. They cannot listen. Behold, the word of the Lord is to them an object of scorn. They take no pleasure in it. You've got to be willing to humble yourself to whatever it is God is saying. If God said it's no, you better stop now. If God said no, it's no, N-O, N-O, N-O. It's not O-N, keep on. So please, saints of God, when God is silent, he's saying something to us. He's talking to the saints. He's telling us something. Stop danger. Be still. Watch. Look around you. The enemy is lurking. We got to be careful. We have to watch as well as pray. We want to continue to pray for Ukraine. We want to continue to pray for the Gibson family. Uh, Sister Evelyn Gibson as she traveled. We want to also uh, remember Jason Holloman and the loss of his father. Well, it's not a loss to be absent from the body, it's to be present with God. We want to continue to pray for him and his daughter. And also remember the believers that were baptized at our church and the believers all over the world. Because God is blessing the church outside the four walls. The marketplace is drawing people into the kingdom. It is time for us to cry loud and spare not. Lift up our voices as a trumpet and tell people that Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back soon. Are you ready to go back to be with the Lord? Is your soul right with God? Have you repented of your sins? Have you turned? Have you been baptized according to the scripture of Acts 2.38? This is the season where we take inventory of our soul. When God is silent, God is talking. I thank God for this podcast today. I was kind of somber to you, but to me, it's life. I feel, I feel like just releasing this life to you. That everything is going to be all right. We pray for Ukraine. We pray, God, that you have your way. And God, even those in high places politically, that you begin to reveal them. In the name of Jesus, I thank you right now, Father, for the blood that's covering every one of the believers all over the world and their children's children's children. I thank you for their families being covered right now in the blood of Jesus. And God, I end this broadcast today, this podcast, with knowing that you're well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. And I stand on your word in Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. God bless you. I am your girl. Until next time. Prophetess Teresa Moulton, God bless.